when you get the true input. Oh, God. That's... Yeah. It doesn't combo into the rise. It just gets the, the dunk. That's <laughs> actually horrifying. No, but we're, oh. we're, we are going to see the hero, the though, hero because it fit. better it better exemplifies how Vivi wants to play the and matchup, which is let me find bounce and let me have this much stronger uh, full screen. I'm sorry to interrupt you real quick, but uh, why is why is numbers at 45.8? Why did... <laughs> Somebody explain this to me! <laughs> I'm never gonna explain! <laughs> you wanna talk about numbers? Oh god, I, I, I wanna hear how many times that joke's been made at Xeno. But I'm making it again, because this is my first Xeno commentating, folks. <laughs> anyway, what we got is some insanity right now. I mean, you see two zoners on the screen, you expect zoning, right? I have seen very little zoning in the past 30 seconds. I have seen a whole lot of running in with Acceleratal and crazy projectile interactions. This is just absurd. I feel like it's so fun to watch Vivi like try and dismantle how Numbers plays. And for a while, it works. And then suddenly Numbers says, hey, but what if I just like do the thing I'm famous for and outpatient you trying to be patient? And that's a lot of mana to burn on just I, one soccer ball. I feel like, and you know, forgive me if I'm you know, giving the, like, uh, uh, taking the wrong impression from all this before, but as somebody who you know does watch Xenos here and there and has seen this matchup play out, I feel like there is like a deep seething hatred of Numbers' play style leaking through every decision that Vivi makes. Oh, Vivi. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, and that hatred makes for just incredible storylines uh, in-game, I feel. Because these interactions you see, like, like the, we just saw Sizzle come out and deal 45% as soon as the game started, right? Yeah, Sizzle's like, kind of... That's something you do when you're like, you're going to do a soccer ball here, I'm sizzling. Sizzle, uh, not only is Sizzle oh. strong as that forward, just a simple drop zone forward air, but I think you're hitting the nail on the head, Why do um, the, I think this, I don't know the total set count, but there were stretches of time where VV and Numbers would play at minimum three times a week in bracket. Oh, God. And uh, that was a time. <laughs> that was a time. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. I'm here to commentate the the, uh, the, the beautiful repeated sets, Numbers versus Sinji back in the day. This is my favorite sets of all time. Um, but right yeah, now, we are seeing a similarly developed matchup. Um, neck and neck, I mean, literally, these are two players who have pulled out every trick in the book already, one stock in, and yet the percents aren't that different. Yeah, just a couple of really strong juggles, and really, we've seen Vivi, we saw Vivi there get, like, almost stubborn with their landings a little bit earlier, just trying to consistently do exactly wow. that. Like, I'm going to land on you with an aerial or an air dodge. I'm just going to land to stage and not try and bypass some of the disadvantage that they're playing, and Numbers picking the right option, yeah. calling out air dodges, or in very, that case, throwing out that crazy back out of shield. And, and speaking of that back out of shield and just keeping people in disadvantage, right? Numbers really shows such a mastery of we fit specific techniques, right? Right. Just like not just the soccer ball and the neutral to keep your disadvantage, but also turning around preemptively and back airing your aerial out of shield. Most characters would not do that, but we fit with that strong out of shield back air better than out of shield forward air. Like that's just something Numbers does all the time, and I think it's really interesting because it also lets you cover that roll in, right? Oh, the right. shield grab. So, oh no! Oh, and as we're talking about these so setups, <laughs> Numbers is the soccer ball master. Uh, self, <laughs> self-proclaimed uh, masochist, we fit hater, and enjoyer. John Numbers <laughs> getting uh, like getting the hit, the rebound, and it's like, okay. Look at this. Look how fast it goes. What the hell? That's uh, nuts. That's insane. You're, yeah, listen, beyond I, it. Start, I, I, that throw started at 58. Listen, I've been tuning into Xeno sometimes, and I mean, I've been seeing John Numbers try these characters like me, Sword Fighter, right? Let me tell you, you can't do that with no. me, Sword Fighter. No. Can you attack a soccer ball and send it careening into the blast zone? You absolutely cannot. No, I mean, look at that. <laughs> that is Johan numerals. That is the face of rage. That is that is somebody who is here to win money. <laughs> <laughs> I am here to win with Wii Fit Trainer. Oh my god, <laughs> All right, we're getting into this next game right now. FD, I mean, we're taking platforms out of the equation, but it is no less complex. I mean, yeah. yeah. I, I feel like you're giving numbers one option here. You're basically simplifying the game state into can Vivi beat numbers at ledge? Yeah. No, yeah. Which is a little bit hard to do, but you have the tools to do so. You have a big disjoint, your aerials are slow, but going to outrange just about everything we fit can do. You have a large purple circle. Yeah, that yeah. big old circle is going to do a the, whole lot of stuff. The circle is very helpful, but it yes. can't be up all the time. 
Yeah, it's only up for 20 Ooh. or so seconds at a time. The zoom comes in. Yeah, I just want to point out just a tiny thing Numbers did there. But, I mean, Hero up tilt is... Oh, oh God, the, the spike. Let me speak, John Numbers. <laughs> but, no, I mean... You know, here up tilt, great anti-air, but it does have that vulnerable window where it doesn't hit the ground right in front of you, right? Right. So John Numbers perfectly timed air dodge to get through. And I think that speaks to how well Numbers understands the sort of interactions of hitboxes, right? Like, he's not just picking options at disadvantage. Like, he's just picking options that go around your options. Yeah, and those options are swarming VV right now as they're only able to do so much. Oh, the soccer ball is still <laughs> active, so it ate that sizzle alive. And I love the confidence from Numbers because they saw the soccer ball and didn't even oh, hold shield. Or buffed up. It's going to be a grab. Oh, that was psych up. So it could have been could have been a, a throw, but I wouldn't have killed, of course. No. They, but, needed, um, they needed something big to turn yeah. it into there. And now you have bounce up, but it's about to go away, and you don't have any MP. One grab will do 10% uh, MP recovery, but, like, it's scary. It's very hard to make this comeback against a defensive titan like Numbers. And it's like defense without even picking defensive options. Like they're just jumping around, throwing out these very late aerials in a lot of center stage like that. And Vivi is forced to do retreating aerials to compensate. Oh, yeah. I'm so glad you mentioned that delayed aerial. Because like, yeah, that back air is so deceptive, right? Right. I feel like like Numbers just does that back air the last possible frame to make you think you're safe. And then you just get hit. This is not where you want to be, to put it to put that simply, uh, as a hero player. Because now, even if you take this stock, there's a good chance that you used a bunch of your Windex to do it. So, it could, yeah, I heard, I heard somebody cheering on Windex. I was instructed to call it Windex, all right? So I'm just, I'm just following instructions, all right? That's a bit like that. It's so but, funny. It's yeah. like literally the first time I've heard him say it. Just, <laughs> his mouth wide open. <laughs> Oh, oh, God. No, no, no. But yeah. oh, that is 53%. Reverse Here's fair with deep breathing. Oh, so man. Two, a double edged sword, right? Because on FD, yeah, you know, it's a bit simpler and you can ledge trap and all that. But how do you run from this glowing, scary red Wii Fit trainer, right? How do you camp out deep breathing when you don't have any platforms? The answer for Vivi is I'm just basically been, I'm going to try and outrange you. I'm going to try and simplify that game state, as I was mentioning, Waidu. Unfortunately, John Numbers is just not let them fall into oh. that same game plan. The kaboom whiffs, the, the ledge play and timings have been there. And when it come, when push comes to shove, v, uh, Numbers has found ways to force mix-ups. Oh, oh, this could be so scary. Okay, you, you really don't want to see it end like that off of a misinput air dodge in the blast zone. Are we going to see Zoom? Yes, yes. Wow. the RNG god smile down upon Vivi. All you need is a little bit more RNG, and you can make magic happen. This is what Hero does, folks. Never give up. <laughs> never, <laughs> never back down. Oh. There it is. Oh, there it is. Kill. <laughs> okay. I'm not saying this is one hit away from winning. Uh, but there's an Oomphon line already, and that damage is, uh, there is are quick. In five oh, ultimate oh, universes, oh, oh. Vivi has won already. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, a, okay, oh, okay, no, okay, but okay. it is in our alternate universe. Our reality says the cold, hard reality of Wii Fit down tilt, killing you in the corner. That no, was such a huge gamble. Why? No amount of Windex in the whole universe can make that window clean. Look at this position that Vivi puts himself in. I'm I'm resetting this. Look at this. Jab one, reads the roll, get this giant fair going. And it's like, okay, I'm thriving here. I'm going to, this back air covers all of this space. I, I can even do the highlighter. It covers all of this space. And you're saying, okay, numbers, go to ledge. And we're going to do this ledge trap when I have oomph online and almost max rage. Yeah. Let's play the game. Let's and then BB the says, I, actually, I'm not going to play the game. I'm just going to throw everything but, into but this hear me read. Out, hear me out, though. <laughs> what if what if he neutral get up, though? You know? No, no, but what if, though? <laughs> that's but one what, of those alternate what universes. If you <laughs> <get up> <laughs> that's why I'm saying there is an alternate universe. You know, BB <laughs> might have lost in this timeline. But there are like 15 timelines where that worked out, so I'm not even going to criticize that. That was great play yeah. from both players. Sometimes you just got to risk it for the biscuit. <laughs> you got to risk and, it. And unfortunately, that's not, uh, you know, sometimes that, it doesn't have the cookie crumbles. I don't know. That, that is how the cookie Metaphors. crumbles. <laughs> yeah, that, right? Sometimes the cookie does crumble like that. Yeah. Cookies, be, when the cookie crumbles, you know. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, let's, uh, I think I think I might have to play next. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, wow. Well, I do. Mm. So it's been a pleasure commentating. <laughs> I'm so thank you for letting me on uh, the, the stream, folks. Uh, just for I, I'm so happy I got to commentate 
We Fit Dittos. That was my dream for so long, and I got to do it. So thank you. Pleasure commentating with you, Ubel. Of course. And uh, yeah, time for time for Rob Steve, baby. <laughs>